Similar manner, in this short video, I would uh, like to explain the algorithm for the management of the shoulder dystocia, and this um, algorithm has been taken from RCUG guideline about the shoulder dystocia. So, like in any emergency, the first step is that of the call for help. Okay, whenever we call for help, we will uh, alert each and every uh, person who is available near our, uh, near us, like uh, any person related to the field of uh, um, obstetric and gynecology who is nearby to us in the labor room we will call them for help like mid midwife coordinator um, additional midwife help and um, experienced obstetrician neonatal team and anesthetist okay and at the same time i would discourage the pushing okay and lie flat and i would ask the patient to lie flat and move buttocks uh, to the edge of the bed okay and um, then the first step would that be macrobert maneuvers okay a macrobert in macrobert maneuvers the thigh would be to the abdomen okay that is very effective maneuver 90 percent of the babies deliver in this way this next step would that be the suprapubic pressure and routine axial traction okay and then i will consider uh, episiotomy if it will make internal maneuvers easy okay after suprapubic pressure if it is not delivered then i would go for the episiotomy and i would try either maneuver first depending upon the clinical circumstances and operator experience uh, basically it's talking about the maneuvers which are written here like delivery of the posterior arm internal rotation and maneuver so it is not hard and fast rule that you would go for the delivery of the posterior arm first or internal rotation first you can go either way depending upon the clinical circumstances okay and um, a little bit detail is given in my other video about the shoulder dystocia the talk station the shoulder with dystocia okay i would give the link in the description uh, then if that maneuvers fail i would immediately uh, inform the consultant and obstetrician and anesthetist okay if all the uh, above maneuvers fail to release the impacted shoulder then consider all four position okay and uh, if appropriate okay in all four position i would um, ask the patient to lie down upside down and i would repeat all the maneuvers in the all four position okay or repeat all the four again means all uh, all the maneuvers um, can be repeated again if they fail like again micro bed again suprapubic pressure and then delivery of the posterior arm and uh, uh, internal rotation maneuvers i can try again but um, if those unsuc become unsuccessful then i will ask the patient to lie down in all four position okay and if all these fail again then i would go for the destructive maneuvers like uh, cleidotomies and naval maneuvers or some physiotomy so that is just a brief uh, description and algorithm which is written in the rcog guideline about the shoulder dystocia and this algorithm is quite helpful and uh, the video about the shoulder dystocia will help how to manage the exam station of the shoulder dystocia and what type of the questions are asked that is explained in the video.